Technical Writing. Hi there, my name is Josh Vector, and I'm the founder of Technical Writer HQ, where we help educate thousands of technical writers on how to perform better at their job and educate them through their career path. Today, I'd like to talk about the increase over the last decade of new gadgets, software development companies, and software in general that's covering the world and requiring more technical writers to step into that role in order for them to succeed. In case you didn't know, the US is the world's most influential tech market, holding 33% of the total share, which is equivalent to $1.6 trillion. This signals that technical writing growth will be driven by the continuous expansion of scientific and technical products, primarily here in the US. And if you're looking to get a technical writing job in the US, even better. Since technical writing is so important to help developers and marketing departments, along with other departments, sell their products, tools, services, and software, we have come up with a video, which is this video, explaining everything you need to know about it. So what it is, how it works, types and examples, team structure, and much more. But before we fully dive into the topic, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and activate the notifications to not miss any of our new posts and insightful videos just like this one. That way you'll always be first in line to get your fair share of high quality instructional content from real technical writing experts. So let's go ahead and get started. As technology moves quickly, the definition of technical writing has changed over time to accommodate the constant influx of new processes and methods. The simplest and most straightforward way to describe the concept of technical writing is to think of it as a form of simplifying the complex, where the writing will focus on a specific subject that requires direction, instruction, or explanation. It is an efficient and clear way of explaining how something works and often why it works that way. But be careful as technical writing often gets confused with business writing. They are not really the same thing. There's a little bit of overlap. Business writing is very reader focused as is technical writing. However, business writing ranges from interpersonal to informational to technical. For example, an email from human resources introducing a new employee is not technical writing, but a scientific report is. As we've stated before, technical writing has changed dramatically throughout the years. Today, technical writing involves creation of technical content as part of a bigger content management strategy that will ideally lead to the creation of technical documentation. Usually, technical writers collaborate with other team members such as visual designers, content writers, document specialists, and industry experts. Therefore, technical writing can be considered a multidisciplinary field because you need to have a number of different skills in order to succeed in it. For most projects, technical writing uses the following three-step process. So you have step one, have you ever heard about the phrase, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail? The very first step is to prepare the overall outline of the future document. So what is the purpose of writing this piece? And if you don't have a great purpose, then how are you going to write the piece effectively? And then also ask, does it have an interested audience to begin with? And how do you plan to cover the topic? In this phase, the technical writer works closely with the team members to grasp the essence of the topic that may include brainstorming and outlining. And then we have step two. In the second phase, it is time to convert those background notes and numbers into a series of drafts, culminating in a draft that's ready for formal review and refining. Contrary to popular belief, writing is only about 20 to 30% of the process in a well-planned document as much of the effort goes into other areas in order to perfect that writing element. So this may be design, planning, structuring with organizations and transitions and reviewing the work. It may also include things like interviews. And finally, the polishing phase where the document undergoes paragraph, sentence, and punctuation editing and proofreading, as well as the overall design and style gets decided. So there are a number of things that go on within this technical writing process in order to make it successful. As any other type of writing, technical documents have their own niche. And certainly this is the most significant aspect for most technical writers. When planning, drafting, and reviewing a paper as writing has to be adapted to match the requirements 
interests and backgrounds of the readers who will be reading it. It can seem obvious, but one of the main causes of the most problems within technical writing is that you'll discover in a professional setting is that technical documents, particularly instructions, have a lack of audience analysis and adaptation. So there needs to be solid work done up front to know who you're writing to. Let's review to whom exactly these documents are intended for, because we have different audiences. We have experts. These are the ones who know everything there is to know about the idea and the product. They created it, tested it, and know everything there is to know about it. They frequently hold advanced degrees and work in academic environments or in government and technological research and development. This may be the head of product at your company. It may be a senior programmer. And then we also have people who are technicians. These are the folks who design, build, run, maintain, and repair the products that specialists have theorized and designed. They have a high level of technical knowledge as well, but in a more practical way. And then we have executives. These are the people that make business, economic, administrative, legal, governmental, and political choices about the products that specialists and technicians have worked on. They decide whether or not to create and advertise a new product. So for example, they may decide whether a city should implement a new power technology. And then we have non-specialists. These are the readers who know the least about technology. Their motivations may be similar to those of technicians, but in a very different way. For example, they want to learn enough about the new technology to decide whether to support it or oppose it. They may simply be curious about a certain technological topic and wish to learn more about it for no particular reason. Now that we've spoken about how technical writing creates documents that help people understand how to use certain equipment, technology, or software, Similarly, this type of writing can target a specific audience for B2C businesses or to write about internal documentation for workers, whether that's for onboarding or simply to use and better understand their own products. For example, technical writing can be used to keep C-suite executives up to date on the company's progress and processes. For this reason, there are different types of technical writing. And today we are reviewing process documents and user documents within technical writing. Process documents are one of the most common types of technical writing. A process document explains how to do something or how to accomplish something. Now this can be used to instruct people or to keep track of a procedure. The formality of these documents varies depending on the intended audience, but they all share formatting characteristics to keep communication structured and effective. And that's one of the beautiful parts of technical writing is there's a science behind making it work. We all have encountered ourselves reading those instructions that came with the new dishwasher or the new microwave and couldn't really understand it. And sometimes we come across instructions that make a lot of sense. And that's what user documentation is for. It's content provided for end users to help them get the most out of a product or service, also known as sometimes a user manual in that case or it could be instruction or user documentation, which is available in a variety of formats and can be delivered in a variety of ways, including video instruction. So a lot of people don't know that technical writing may involve video too. And it can also involve digital text, photo, or a combination of media to help clarify a product. For example, it can be an illustrated guide to patch up your furniture. No matter if the product is a lawnmower or a piece of accounting software, there's always a learning curve for new users. User documentation helps users through the initial learning phase and teaches them to be more successful with the product. Let's review your knowledge so far. Here we have some examples of technical documents. Can you classify them? Are all them process documents or user documents? So take a minute here, feel free to pause this video and see if you can properly place them in the right category. And there you go. Now ask yourself if you were able to properly classify them correctly. If you were, then that's great. Remember that process document guides the development, testing, maintenance, and improvement of systems. They are used by managers, engineers, testers, and marketing professionals. Pretty much any department will rely on documentation in order to be successful and scale. 
These documents use technical terms and industry specific jargon. And on the other hand, user documentation is designed to assist end users to use a product or service. This is often referred to as user assistance. The user documentation is part of the overall product delivered to the customer. So documentation is not just to help the customer, it's part of your product. It's part of the customer's experience. Now let's go ahead and dive into some advanced examples so we can make that a bit more tangible. We have mentioned a few examples of both process and user type of documents. Now let's talk in depth about some other common examples. A user guide is a technical communication document intended to assist users of a particular system. So that system may be how to delete your account in a software. It can be many different things, and it mainly focuses on tasks that can be done through the user interface. The language used is matched to the intended audience with jargon kept to a minimum or explained throughly. A user guide can be very brief. A user guide can be very brief, for example, only 10 or 20 pages, or it can be a full length book of 200 pages or more. While this definition assumes computers, a user guide can provide operating instructions on practically anything, which is great because at the end of the day, it shows that technical writing is very much needed. And it may be about lawnmowers, microwave ovens, as mentioned earlier, again, dishwashers, the more complex the product, the greater the page count usually for technical writing. And when this happens, some elements of the user guide get split out into their own separate volumes especially the installation procedures, troubleshooting procedures, and the commands. Now, release notes are technical documents distributed with software products that contain bug fixes and added features. They are usually shared with end users, customers, and clients of an organization. For example, the addition or removal of one or more features may be accompanied by release notes. This type of document is prepared by the development team and is often found in the last update section of the product website. Now let's get a bit more techish with some software concepts. For example, API, Application Programming Interface Documentation. But first, what's an API? An API is a connection between computers or between computer programs, enabling all sorts of data transmission. This type of documentation describes what services an API offers and how to use those services aiming to cover everything a client would need to know for practical purposes. It is traditionally found in documentation files, but can also be found in social media, such as blogs, forums, and QA websites. And then we have SDKs, Software Development Kits. And this type of documentation is a complete set of APIs that allows you to perform almost any action you would need for creating applications, as well as other tools for developing a platform. All SDKs contain APIs, but not all APIs are SDKs. A very interesting example as SDK documentation is both a user and a process document. Now, we also have market requirements document, or MRD. And this is a technical document that expresses the customer's wants and needs for the product or service. It usually explains who the target audience is, what products are in competition with this one, why customers are likely to want this product. An MRD is a document that really describes the overall market opportunity and may be presented to senior level executives within a company. And last but not least, we have a user requirements document or a URD. This is a technical document that specifies what users expect the software to be able to do. The information document in a URD is meant to spell exactly what the software should do and becomes part of the contractual agreement with users that sign up for a platform. A customer cannot demand features that are not in the URD, while the developer cannot claim the product ready if it misses an item of the URD. A URD is usually used in software engineering that specifies what the user expects the software ultimately to do. To achieve a great piece of technical writing, there are some core skills that will be needed to master. Evidently, to have an eye for detail is a must considering a technical writer spends a lot of time researching and reading. The technical information collected has to be shaped for the reader's interests and understanding and perception, and often technical writers will have to 
communicate highly technical information to a non-technical audience. For this reason, excellent writing communication skills are in the top three skills that a technical writer must have. People often think that a technical writing job doesn't require any teamwork skills, but that's simply not true and is a misconception. People also think it's an introverted job, which is also not true because you must work together with employees from all departments to get to the different target audiences. Good collaboration guarantees the success of a resulting product documentation. And ultimately, you have to do interviews with users of your product, as well as people who are working with users of your product. Language skills are also highly demanded in this interconnected world, particularly for technical writers. And furthermore, the knowledge and understanding of industry-specific technology can be acquired by pursuing a higher education degree in a technical field. It's why many people transition to the role of a technical writer later on after they have deep knowledge within a particular vertical. And just to end here, technical writing can be a lot like marketing as it's about getting your message across and clearly informing people about the product or service you are writing about. Technical writing has a variety of applications both in consumer products as well as in the industrial sector, which provides clear and precise specifications and directions for use of products and equipment. It also provides context to processes and allows them to be used safely as intended. And at Technical Writer HQ, we're very passionate about sharing our great resources with you to learn more about technical writing. So if you are interested in becoming a technical writer or if you already are and looking to level up your skills, then make sure to go ahead and check out Technical Writer HQ, where we offer a top rated course and certification on technical writing to do just that. We also offer a ton of content on all the different aspects of technical writing from developing your portfolio to what great examples look like. And if you're interested in keeping up with our videos and becoming a more successful technical writer and ultimately getting a higher salary within the field, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And that way you can get updated whenever we come out with a new video. And I'm very excited for you to use all the resources here in order to take your technical writing career to the next level. And I wish you the best of luck in doing so. Cheers.